welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy and you're watching Fisher Hunts, the Midwest Mobile Escape Room. Today I'm gonna show you how to make this, which doesn't look that impressive, uh, but it's a box that does not have a hasp on it, but it still has a lock on it. And that's because I've tied some string around it and just made some holes in it so that the lock stays there. And this is such an easy thing to do and honestly, uh, kind of pathetic, honestly, I should just be putting hasps on things, but in a desire to make things cheaper and faster, and sometimes I don't really want to um, install hasps, especially in boxes that are this small, because it can kind of ruin them, um, string is the way to go. So I'm gonna show you how to make it. Let's get started. <laughs> okay, so first things first, you need your box, some string, and scissors, and preferably a lock, to test with your thing, just to make sure that the shackle can actually fit. So the first thing we're gonna do is tie a loop in one end, and that's basically double knotting it, but then leaving that extra space around. And the way I do that is I like putting my finger through it. And then doing the double knot. Kind of like that. And then we'll take our box, put that loop through where I want the center to be. And I'd like to doing about four or five times around. One, two, three, four. Let's do four. Okay, so now I need my other loop to be right around that same area, but still kind of tight. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it there. Now we're gonna do the second loop. So the exact same time thing as the first one, make sure that you have a loop in it so that your lock can go through. Don't accidentally just double knot it. That's not helpful. And this part can be a little tricky because it's easy to accidentally put it too far away Whoops, see like that? <laughs> um, or make it too easy to open. So we're gonna see if tightening this gets any better. Or, ooh, see, it is better. Just have to make it tighter. Okay, so now I'm actually gonna make this tight. I had it kind of loose at first, just in case it didn't work. Cool. And you can cut off these little end pieces. I'm gonna make sure it really does work before I finally do that. And that looks pretty good. They're really nearby. Now just test with this baby. Cool. And yeah, see how it can kind of slide off the sides? If you're gonna do something like this, just make sure you include in the instructions, hey, don't cut these off. Um, and sometimes you can spin these just to make them tighter too. Uh, this one actually turned out pretty good though. Uh, but there you go. It's all locked up and you can use it now. I'm gonna cut off these little end pieces. Uh, but yeah, pretty easy. And now your box is all locked up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like, and don't forget to subscribe if you wanna see more. Uh, yeah. Okay, thanks for watching, bye. <laughs>